Hi everyone, so welcome back to Generative Mind AI. So this is going to be the third video of MLOps series. So in the previous video, we have just discussed about the MLOps, the basics of MLOps, the key components of MLOps. And in the previous video, in the video number two, we have just created the AWS account. And also we have just set up the multi-factor authentication on root user, as well as we have created zero budget uh, notification so if there if you are going to exceed more than one dollars it is going to send you the notification in your the mail okay so this all thing we have just covered in the previous video so now in the this video we are going to see about iam what is iam and how we are able to create that iam so we don't have to go every time to root user to log in and just do all the whatever the resource we are going to use suppose you have just created a single account of aws and now you want to distribute into multiple users As, uh, if, then how you don't need to give all of them like multiple user the same id that is a username and password password the root username and the password to everyone in that place you can just create a iam account for each of the user if you have a 10 user you have a 10 person working in one project and you have a single AWS account. You can just create a 10 IAM user. Okay. And similar, you can even create a group of IAM. So this all thing we will discuss in this video. And the important of this IAM is that you, with the help of root user, so you will have access for each and every IAM user, what they have uh, given the security or whatever they have given the access. So every IAM user will not have that access that depend upon the root user uh, what they are just going to give the admin access or whether they are going to give only some commands or they are going to give only the s3 bucket uh, uses and rest they are going to say you can't access uh, other services so all uh, whatever the service they, they it is going to assign for the every im user that depends upon the root user is going to set up this all things this thing we are going to again uh, check in the this video again so we'll see about the definition definition of IAM. So IAM is basically identity and access management. So whatever the management of all the services which is going to provide for the specific IAM user is going to be set by the root user. Clear? So you will have an IAM or identity, identity access management is a services provided by the Amazon Web Services that is a AWS that enable you to manage the access to the AWS services and resource securely. Okay, so I hope so you clearly understand with this thing. And the second important thing is that IAM role is similar to the user in that it is an AWS identity identity with permission policies and the determine what the identity can and cannot do. So it's basically it is going to be say whichever the access they have in the AWS account, what resource they have, what access they have or which resource they don't have the access that is going to be handled by everything that is going to be set up by the root user. Root user have the power to give you whatever the access is going to give. So it's not going to give you all the access like admin access. It can give you the admin access. Some might that not give you the admin access. Depends upon the project specification or what the role of a specific person is that. Okay. So however, role do not have a credential and cannot make direct requests. So you even cannot go and IT request that I need this thing manually. You need to go to the root user and root user is going to give you the access for the specific specific service which you are going to use. Okay, so that make really sense. So use of I am okay, and uh, and in AWS instead of role are assumed by I am user AWS services or identity federation. So this all thing we are going to discuss in this video. I hope so you just understand about the IAMs. I am is basically. Uh, identity and access management and why, why we are creating I am and uh, why the root user have the power to create n number of uh, I am roles basically you don't need to provide all of them as a account that is a root user and the password it might be some more be label account is going to be high or everyone will have different type of um, role so for a smaller role you could, could not give for someone to access all the users that is a root user and the passwords for them you are going to assign a one i am role and you are going to assign which services i am going to give you for the specific person so that make really sense to use i am so in this video we'll see in the 
aws uh, dashboard how we are able to create this a iam user okay so you don't uh, if it is not going to be display here you have to just search i am okay and in this video also we will see how you can set a multi-factor authentication for i am also because in the previous video we have done multi-factor authentication for the root user but in this we will just see how we can create for the i am user also because i am user also will get something username and the password so with the help of again you are going to add an extra layer of security that is going to be a plus point so that you are able to add a security label and we'll see this thing in much detail in this video so go to the user i already defined some user you can create your own user so suppose i'm just creating a username uh, with uh, uh, generative mind i'm just creating generative mind okay and then after i'm just going to provide the access management console i i want to create an i am user you can go and create i am user either you can go with the auto generated password and then after uh, or you can create a custom password i'm going to create a custom password whatever i can uh, my for just i'm just adding anything in the password so once you are able to complete this step and then after user must create a new password to the next sign in so i don't want to check in for now if suppose i am going to assign for the n number of users and uh, uh, whenever i am going to create their i am role so whenever i am creating my own password so i am going to share with them and if by chance if they want to keep their own password uh, which they whichever their favorite password so they can even create you can even uh, check in in this so i'm going to for now i'm just going to be it's okay and now you have to go with the next okay let's see what's going to become up uh, don't say for now and now it's going to be say add user to the group copy permission something we will say attach policy direct so i'm going to see whichever the services you are going to assign for the specific i am user so whichever i'm just going to set for the generative ai so this is the username i have given so you will have different type of access like amazon api gateway you will have so many of things so i'm for now i'm just searching for admin normally i'm just going to search for the admin administrator access so i'm going to assign this one for now this and let's go with the next step uh, this is the set permission boundary it's going to be optional to co to control the maximum permission it's fine for now so whatever you want to give the for the specific i am whatever the services you want to give whatever the access you want to give for the specific i am user you can go with the there and you can just uh, give whatever the service how many services you can give it is going to be up to you for now i'm just going to show you the demo purpose how you are creating i am how you are providing the access okay so this is done and then after create a user okay so once we are able to create a user the plus point is that you will have a console sign in url so now you are able to see https i have given my name rehan fazil khan and then after i'm just going to sign in dot aws amazon and then after i'm just giving something like console okay so what does it mean this is going to be the username that is generative mind and the password whatever you have just written for now so this is username is generative mind this is the password but this link with the help of this link you are able to open the iam okay so you are able to open the aws account with the iam this role and this is the allies i'm going to show you even you can just change so let me open in the new something like a, a new web browser and i'm going to open this one i'll show you if you don't remember that allies that is a, you can even edit and whatever your name is there or whatever comfortable it is there you can go and just sign in so this is what it is displaying like a, uh, account dual digit so i'll show you how we can even uh, edit or create a new account allies so for now i am username so i have written something like uh, generative mind this is my username so i'm going to copy this one okay and then after password i'm just going to give uh, okay so i need to give my password so okay oh let me write once again okay so sign in let's see so now you are able to see i am able to access this all the account of generative mind okay generative ai so now this is the console home this is the first time which i have going to sign in for the specific user which i have created with the help of 
we can say that is a root user i am creating a new iam role and with the new iam role i am able to logging with that accounts and this account i have given the access to admin so whatever the admin have the power the same access i have given for the this iam user okay now the third thing is that you need to set a mfa that multi factor authentication for this user also like this iam user because whenever you are giving something username and the password it is going to directly sign in so even someone know your username and password it they it might be easily for them to sign in and whatever they can just access or they want to train something they can just take the resources and they can use a limited resources and bill, billing is going to be a huge amount so for that reason again you are going to come up you are going to add an extra layer of security that we call as a multi factor authentication we also discuss in the previous video but the same you can go for the i am uh, for this also what i'm just going to do go to with the i am and then after let's see you have to go with the uh, this is what account allies i was just saying i will show you how we can edit this one but let's first of all go and uh, do the multi factor authentication it's saying you don't have mfa assigned so go and assign the mfa and then after again the same thing which we have done in the previous video generative ai i'm just writing and uh, authenticator app go with the next okay and then after so the qr code so i'm just going to i already have authenticator app in my phone so i already downloaded google authenticator so you have to go and uh, scan this qr code so i'm going to scan with my mobile phone and uh, whenever you are able to scan with your mobile phone the six digit passcode is going to be come up so you need to enter the two times so one is going to be 157 five eight seven and thus after 30 seconds it is going to come up with the second code that is three one six eight seven three okay so i have created mf add mfa now you are able to see that mfa device has been assigned so now i have this account that is a user my the username uh, for the generative mind this is a i am user whichever we i have created i have added a, a extra layer of security that is a uh, we can just say uh, mfa i have just added for this i am role okay so whenever again if you are going to see like i need to open this one again and uh, le let's try it again so uh yeah it's going to open and it's going to come again with the uh, uh, you need to provide the username that is generative mine i already have so i'm going to provide sign in now you are able to see now we are getting you you need to provide the mfa code okay so now this mfa code is going to add you an extra layer of security for this aws account okay so now i am going to write a eight nine four two two zero let's go and submit so now i am able to access this i am i am role i have also set the multi-factor authentication for this i am a role so you are able to clearly understand how we are able to create the im role new user and then after whatever the account access you are going to give you already saw in this video and then after you have activated the multi-factor authentication for this specific im user and the third thing is basically i'm going to see about the allies so allies is basically you can even edit this one uh yeah you can even need whatever you want to say it you can say it so if it is going for that name it is going to be appear so for this generative mind i am going to set anything so like generative okay mind i'm just going to set for now save change and then after you can just see generative mind and then after with the help of this user and the password you if you are going to reload this one let's see okay so uh, don't go with the im role and this is basically administrator so it is a root root access and this in this website i have open uh, this web browser i have opened the im role i am for the generative mind okay so now you will have able to see the users i have written to see generative mind and now you are able to see this here the whatever we have the console to access this one it has been changed it has been changed to the generative mind clear I hope so you have understand this all thing in much detail and I have given the per, uh, per permission like administrator access so it, it has the power to do whatever the administrator like a root user have the access is the same user uh, this I am user have the access again one thing more I will say you if you don't remember uh, this website you because you don't need to go again and again uh, for this 
specific url uh, like you don't need to copy and paste somewhere and then after whenever you are again going to sign in for the specific i am user account and the password you don't have to copy this link manually you can go with the aws account okay you can go with the sign in so i'll show you how we can just do uh, it is already so this is a native mind and uh, this is already has been signed it uh, let me sign out and then after we'll just again go and uh, log in back yeah so you can just see uh, you can just see sign in as a iam user so you need to provide the account id that is a dual digit whichever you have for now i have this one and then after i am username so generate generative mind whichever we have so you can just keep provide and sign in okay it is going to say you the error because we have changed this to a generative mind you can able to see this one in see this is what i have changed generative mind so you can even change this thing and let's go and paste generative mind i think it is okay and the password is the same uh, you can write uh, is something i am username so i have changed generative mind ai let's check one time more so we have the user like you go and go with the user generative mind and uh, yeah so go and see uh, whatever the access we have given for this um, generative arm generative mind generative mind let's copy and paste yeah okay so let's see whatever the account i have changed i could not even remember because previously it was rehan fazal khan and finally we have just changed with the other user let's see how many user we have so we have user of 6 suppose if i am just creating something new user let's say let's create again one new im role i am just creating im2 for now provide something like uh, username i want to access this one uh, custom password i am giving something like any my favorite password go with the next step don't say for now and uh, attach policy and i am going to give administrator access or uh, give this one uh, next a uh, see uh, then after whenever you are able to see create this user and see this is what i have given generative mind so this is the which i have given so it might be something wrong in this generative mind okay i got it so now let's sign in back there was something uh, uh, there was some wrong so uh, you 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 will able to access this thing again so you we, this is the url where you whenever you are going to copy and paste and open somewhere in the different web browser so you will directly go with the sign in page where you already it has been written the dual digit uh, account id thus you need to provide your i am username so uh, whatever the username i have given i have given gener uh, generative mind whatever you have given your username you can provide whatever the password you have given from from the root account you can just provide so this all thing whenever you are just done you are going to go and sign in in that and again it is going to see you the mfa mfa basically mul multi factor authentication i already have this thing so 025 okay so this is all about the i am i hope so you are really clear with this even you can go and delete that with the help of account that is a uh, we can able to i want to just delete this a, a, this specific i am so i can just de delete with the help of root user so i can just go with the i am role and how many user we have so we have it might be now it has been 3 i need to delete this one you can go and delete this one and then after you need to confirm that whether you are going to delete uh, then after you have to write i am 2 and delete user so you can you are able to delete this user easily so this was all about how you can just create an a, a i am user from the root account and then after you can go and back and logging with the im and from there you can activate the multi factor authentication and then after you can even change the alias it's not you don't have to copy paste somewhere and save the exact url we already seen you can just even change or you can go directly to the aws account you can go with the sign in as a im user 
just you need to remember that uh, uh, i am username and the password and what was to your allies okay so this all was about the uh, which we have studied till now is about how we are able to create a im and the definition of im so i hope so you are able to understand this thing till now so this was this last two video is basically um, all about the setting of aws before jumping to the others services like a s3 bucket ac2 sage maker cloud services so many there are many of the things we'll see about the docker commit dockers code commits this all thing in the upcoming video so next video we'll see about the s3 bucket how we what's the s3 bucket and how we are able to set uh, this s3 bucket and again thank you for watching this video please like like and subscribe if you just like this video thank you